Today I'm gonna be doing a video that I don't normally do. Like I never do sit down videos. I never do makeup videos. I think I have like maybe two on my channel, but I got some stuff from Ulta the other day, like really affordable makeup, and I wanted to give it a try. Um, I got some like cream bronzer and cream blush. I've never used cream makeup before on my face, so I wanted to start like using that just to get like a more like hydrated look, and it's like so popular. I can't believe that like I've never jumped on that train. I normally use like a powder bronzer, powder blush, um, all of that. So I'm excited to try that out today. I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure how good I'll be at it, but I'll show you guys all the stuff I got here in a second. Today is also very like kind of breezy. It feels like the beginning of fall. It's a little bit chilly outside. I don't know how we got so blessed with this weather, but it's amazing. It's like cloudy and just like my favorite kind of day. So I poured a cup of hot coffee with cinnamon swirl creamer and it is giving me like such fall vibes. I'm so excited for fall. Comment below if you're also excited for fall. Um, I just put some curls in my hair just to give it some life, but I'm gonna put my little headband in to keep my hair out of my face. Okay, so first, this is um, the foundation that I use all the time. I have a few other foundations that I've tried out like over the past year or so, but nothing compares to this foundation for me personally. I think it is the best. So I was just um, re-upping on this. And it Cosmetics CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream plus anti-aging hydration serum and it has SPF 50 which is so freaking good. I love this so much. I'm going to use this today and you guys will see just like how amazing the coverage is and yeah it really does like hydrate the skin like my makeup on top of this always comes out looking so freaking good also all the makeup and all the products i'm using are of course vegan and cruelty free 39.50 for this foundation again i could not recommend this more highly than i already do it's so good and then um it's actually in the shower because i already used it but i got this thing it's a face wash like an exfoliant it's called a cure brightening facial scrub and it was 9.99 i needed a exfoliating facial wash i only have like creamy ones or like gel ones or whatever i didn't have anything that would like exfoliate my skin and i used it like two days ago and let me tell you guys, like, it feels so freaking nice on the skin. Like, you just feel so clean afterwards. Like, when you're washing your face with it, it just feels amazing. And then um, I got this by Pacifica Clean Shot BHA AHA 25% Peel Solution. And it says it's for clogged and dull skin. So after I exfoliated and stuff, I put this on and you keep it on for like 15 minutes and then clean your skin. I've only used it one time, so um, I can't say much about it, but it did feel really nice. Yeah, so I need to use this a few more times. And the only reason I have anything to say about the Acure one is because I just know that it felt so good and my skin really did feel super clean after I was done using it. So that's like skin skincare stuff. Everything else is e.l.f. products, um, except a, a lip liner that I got from NYX. So I got this lip liner. This is called Brunch Me. And I'm hoping that it is like a perfect like pinky kind of liner, like pinky brown. It kind of looks like that on the end, but that's never how it actually looks. And they didn't have any like testers. So we'll see about that. Um, and then these are like the cream things I got. And I went with e.l.f. because I didn't want to get like really expensive cream uh, contour and cream blush if I wasn't even sure that I liked that kind of stuff on my skin. So I got this. Um, it says putty bronzer. It's in the shade tan lines. And then I got a cream blush as well. This is called Bora Bora. I love this. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out today. And then I went ahead and got this contouring brush. I didn't have one. All I have are like powder brushes. So this is an e.l.f. contour brush. I figured I would need this to like get the contour on and blend it out, but I will be blending with a sponge as well. And then I got a set of Total Face, it's a Total Face Sponge Duo by e.l.f. I typically use a like Beauty Blender, like buy the brand Beauty Blender, or I'll use, oh, what's that other one? Eco Tools or something like that. Like I'll use like a sponge like this. And in the past, when I've gotten the ones that like aren't Beauty Blender, they aren't as good. So I'm hoping that this will be a good sponge. It looks like it will be. Oh, let me tell you the prices. The e.l.f 
blush and the elf bronzer were both six dollars the contouring brush was only six dollars and the sponges the two sponges only ten dollars and oh i forgot that i also got this um elf mascara this is the length and volume so we're going to use this as well today and i just got like a plain uh sharpener because i have a ton of lip liners and i lost my sharpener so i haven't been able to use them so i bought another one when i should have just bought the sharpener but it's fine we won't talk about it the sharpener was only two dollars and i almost bought the ulta brand one and that one was like six so i'm glad i found the elf one okay i got everything set up and ready to go I apologize if this video is like not amazing. Um, like I said, I never do these, but if you do end up enjoying it, let me know and um, I'll start doing more of them. Um, so first thing I'm gonna do is go in with this BioClarity Primer. This is the Primed and Ready Hydrating Primer. Um, okay, so I kind of wanted to chat with y'all about my personal experience of growing up in the late 90s and early 2000s and like the pressure of looking a certain way based off of how celebrities looked at the time um how tabloids were and all of that so i was born in 1991 i'm about to be 30 years old on september 1st so if you are in that kind of age group you know exactly what i'm talking about so I'm going to start with my eyes. I'm just going to do a super simple like eyeshadow look. I use the Creaseless Concealer by Tarte in the shade Fair. Blend that out as like a foundation. Let's see how this e.l.f. blender works. I mean, it feels really, really soft and like puffy and just like the regular beauty blenders, but we'll see. Yeah, it works just as well as any other one that I've used. Growing up in the late 90s and early 2000s, if you guys remember, the tabloids and newspapers back then, they were freaking savage. They were so mean. And if you did not look a very specific way, like you were ugly, you were fat, you know? So growing up as like a preteen, also, my mom watched a lot of reality shows. You know, we always had those magazines and stuff. So like, if you liked pop culture, you were watching like Keeping Up With The Kardashians, you were watching The Simple Life, you were watching like, um, what was it? Like The Osborne Show, any reality show that came out, anything like tabloids, like you were reading it, you were looking at the fashion and the girls, Paris Hilton, like Nicole Richie, Lindsay Lohan, Britney Spears, the list goes on, you know what I mean? Like that was like who i grew up looking at and comparing myself to you know what i mean but back in the day um i'm just using this naked heat palette i'm not really going to go into the, the details of this because really this video is to try out the like the cream contour stuff so i'm just doing a really simple putting like a light shade all over my eyelid and then um in my crease i'm just going to use like my um physician's formula bronzer keep it simple Anyway, so I grew up with all of that, reading that stuff, seeing that stuff, and um, basically the look back then, and I'll put some pictures up, like if you're a little bit younger, or maybe you, like you don't remember, like you remember it a little bit, but you didn't like actually like live it. Basically, the skinnier the better, like skinny, 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 unhealthy skinny, and that was like the look. If you were thick, at all if you had any inner imperfection on your body if you had cellulite if you had fat the tabloids would straight up be like probably me right now i'm a size six no way would that have been acceptable back in the early 2000s like i would have been considered um full size mid size or even like overweight if they caught me like in a bad angle you know what i mean so if you were anything over like a pretty much like a size four, you were considered fat. And all over the tabloids, it'd be like, it's so crazy because now women of all sizes are accepted and celebrated and body positivity is just like so major. When I was growing up, there was no such thing as body positivity. It was like either you're skinny or you're a fat cow and you can't be anything in between. That is basically what the media like told you or like made you believe. Also, 
um, nobody at that time was honest or open about editing or photoshopping or getting plastic surgery or like Botox, lip fillers, nothing. Like there was no openness, no talk about that whatsoever. And we also didn't have like um, the behind the scenes of really anything. So everything just seemed like if you saw it in the magazine, it never really crossed your mind that it was edited or photoshopped. You just thought like, wow, these celebrities are beautiful and perfect. And that's why I'll never look like them or I'll never be one because I'm not beautiful enough. I don't have the body, whatever. Now for me growing up, I was always really, really, really skinny. I have a super fast metabolism that has kind of changed over the past couple of years. I realized like as I'm about to be 30, um, I'm not as naturally like rail thin as I used to be. I'm still a thin person. I still have a fast metabolism, but growing up, you guys, I was like skinny, skinny. Never had any weight issues and I was always kind of praised for that. So being skinny was like the goal for everyone. Like. I remember basically people being like super unhealthy and miserable, but like if they were skinny, that they thought that would that that was more important than anything. Like if you were skinny, you were healthy and you were happy. Like you're skinny, how could you want anything else? You know what I mean? Like that was the ultimate goal. So I never really had um, major body issues growing up. I do remember looking in the mirror sometimes and being like, you know, like any young girl thinking like. I'm ugly or whatever, like my nose is big, I have acne, you know, I'm, I don't look like this girl or that girl or whatever. I was like, you know, we always compare ourselves, right? Um, I'm gonna take a second really quick because I'm gonna end up getting distracted. I'm just gonna finish my eyes and then I'll come back. Okay, so my eye makeup is done. I just, like I said, I did it super, super simple and I always just use brown eyeshadow to do my eyeliner. I just think it gives it more of like a softer, type of look but basically what I'm trying to say is that if you grew up in the 2000s you know what I'm talking about it was a you know you couldn't be outside of the mold or you were fat and ugly according to tabloids okay now I'm gonna use my it cosmetics foundation this is the shade fair light and I always just put it on my hand but body positivity and being accepting of like all sizes and stuff like that's relatively new. When I was even in high school, I graduated high school at 2009, um, that was not a thing. You needed to be really that that same mold. Um, I think the first like really famous, beautiful, curvy woman anyone ever really saw and accepted was Kim Kardashian. And that was like, she and her sisters kind of started like a new, acceptable body standard but then it was like you either need to be stick thin or you need to be kim kardashian big boobs tiny waist big butt beautiful so yeah and even through when i was in college it was still the same kind of thing and for me um like i said i was always super thin so that was like great but was i healthy absolutely not i didn't freaking eat vegetables, I barely worked out, I did not take care of my body, I drank a lot, a lot, a lot in my early 20s. Um, you know, I just, I wasn't healthy, but I was skinny, so that's all that really mattered. And now I'm just so, so grateful for the way things have changed and the way that they're continuing to change. Because if, like, for example, over the last year or so, um, I probably gained about 20 pounds and if this would have happened when I was like in college I would have thought that I was super overweight that I was fat that like my dimples and cellulite were so gross like I would have just been like so like almost like disgusted with myself because that's what like you know the tv and the magazines and everything are telling you and like i said i'll put examples up on the screen of like how the tabloids used to just rip people apart okay now i'm like oh my god now i'm just rambling and i'm over blending um but it was really really bad you guys um please comment below like what you remember from that time if you did grow up in that time like how bad it actually was Cause even now like on Instagram and stuff, some of like the interviews or like old tabloids will like pop up and it's just like, oh my God, I can't believe that we used to talk about women like that. 
and their bodies like that and the things that used to be said it's so insane so like it has taken a long time for me to get that kind of mindset out of my head and to like accept my body at, at any stage that it's in um because that really like wasn't a thing and i'm so envious of the young girls that get to grow up in the world today with it being okay to be different to be like have your body be any size and as long as you're taking care of yourself like anyone who's like didn't grow up in the same era that i did if you're a little bit younger like you have to be so grateful for people like lizzo specifically lizzo and, there, and there and there's a ton more but i'm just thinking lizzo because i saw an interview with her this morning on on good morning america it was like on in the background and she was talking about how people will still be like so mean and you know she still has those days where like she feels like pretty bad and she feels low and down and people bring her down but she still loves herself and she loves her body and she takes care of herself you guys like it doesn't matter if you eat the same work out the same no one's body's gonna look the same and for lizzo like she posts all the time and it doesn't even really matter but it, she posts all the time like what she eats in a day she's vegan she's getting plenty of nutrients she works out she kills it on stage she has more energy and does more like with her body on stage than like super like skinny like skinny people who are probably like super unhealthy like not even as healthy as lizzo but What's so messed up about it all is that someone will look at Lizzo and because she is overweight, they will think she must be lazy, she must eat junk food all day, like she doesn't have it together, like ew, how gross. And then you'll see a skinny person who's like chugging Dr. Peppers all day, going through McDonald's like for every meal and just because they're skinny, they're like, oh, look how well she's taking care of herself. It's just like, I feel like we've pulled back that veil of like, that's not true. And no matter what, your genes and your body are always going to be different than the person right next to you. You know what I mean? Even if you do the exact same thing. So that took me years to realize because when you're kind of brought up, um, especially like if you have like a mom like me, um, she's not so much like this anymore, but I do remember because she was a young mom. Like by the time she was my age, I think she already had, she had two kids, two or three. I'm not sure. Mom comment below. Let me know. I don't remember, but um, she was really young when I was like 12, 13. So all the stuff I watch now, all the reality shows, like the Love Island, the Kardashians, all that stuff, like she was watching it too. Like it was pop culture. It was like, you know what I mean? So I watched it too and I picked up on that stuff. Anyway, I'm rambling. This video's gonna be so long. Let me try this uh, bronzer real quick. I'm just gonna dab a little on this brush. Well, oh my God. Okay, let me tell you guys. With my cream contour right now, I feel like like a real makeup girl. Okay, I think I can get in there a little bit more now because that's not really like coming up as much as I wanted to. This is what I saw. I don't know where I saw this trick, but you're supposed to go like from the corner of your mouth, like up like that. Okay, so the color is good. Like it's giving me good color and I'm not like pushing too hard. Let's do this, right? And obviously I could use my, um, the blender sponge as well. And then let's do the nose. Okay, let's try blending this really quickly before I move on. Whoa, okay, that blends really, really well. You barely even have to do anything. I'm gonna add concealer and I'm gonna do a little bit more on the bronzer and then I'll come right back. I don't know how well it's coming across on camera, but this is so beautiful and so smooth. It just looks like, down here in my mirror, the bronzer looks like a natural kind of sun-kissed tan. It's so smooth and like creamy. I am so impressed. I cannot believe that this is the first time I'm using like cream products so i'm about to add the blush i'm so excited about the blush i'm just gonna use um beauty blender this is like barbie pink like so freaking pink this is like magenta looking and this is like pink 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 i've barely tapped it because i'm 
worried that it's gonna be like too much. It's so freaking pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. I hope it's coming up on the camera. And I like to bring mine all the way up, a little, of course, TikTok hack of shaping your face. And I put a little bit over my um, eyebrow as well. That is stunning. Oh my gosh. It does take a little bit more time because obviously you're like blending and stuff. So I would say it's like not as like time efficient as just doing like slapping on a powder, but the finish of it, the blend of it, oh my God, like the cream products, that is where it's at. I'm gonna do a little on my nose. You could, oh, when you tap it, you really get, you guys can see that for sure now. You really get the color. Maybe I'll do that. Okay, the blush, Bora Bora by e.l.f. Need. Oh, that is just gorgeous, honey. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of highlighter. Oh, I was talking about basically like back when I was younger, we didn't have people talking about like body positivity and health and stuff like that and like a, a balanced lifestyle. It was all about just be skinny, work out to your skinny, eat less, diet pills, all that jazz, right? And also when you grow up like that, you're kind of grow like taught to like almost like a fat phobic type of mindset because of reading everything, taking everything in at such a young age, thinking that like, and always being praised for being skinny. You think that fat is bad. You think that any extra weight is unhealthy and that it means you're lazy and you're gross and all this stuff. And that's kind of a hard mindset to break. And every now and then I'll like see a body type that I'm like, I'm like, oh, like I wouldn't want to look like that. And then I think to myself, like, why did you just think that? What made you think that about another person and why would you? It doesn't make any sense, you know? Like, why are you even thinking about the way that somebody else's body looks in a negative way? And then I think back like to things I heard growing up or what I saw growing up and I feel like when you do those things, you're projecting some of your own insecurities. So then I think like maybe I'm thinking that because in the back of my mind, I'm thinking like fat is bad and you have to be skinny or you won't be worthy or you won't be beautiful. And maybe that's why you're projecting those thoughts onto another person, you know what I mean? Um, so it's taken time to like restructure my brain and really think that like all bodies are beautiful and skinny isn't everything and health and mental health, mental health more than anything is so much more important than what you're looking like on the outside. And if someone is confident and they feel comfortable and, and they're healthy mentally and they like love themselves, all of that, that's the ultimate goal. And just being confident and taking care of yourself inside and out. That's what's most important. Not the number on the scale, not the size of your pants. Cause I'm telling you, I remember for so long being like 13, 14 years old, literally a child go, not even gone through puberty yet, being like a double zero and being so like proud of it because in the media and everything I read would always be like, what's the word? Like glorifying basically being specifically a double zero or a size one or a size two. Like there were so many things that were like, referencing being a double zero or referencing being like a size two dress or whatever. I remember this so specifically. And I think it was like a specific thing talking about like Jennifer Aniston and how she was a size two and Paris Hilton being like a double zero and her stomach was so flat. So I thought I need to be a double zero forever to be a, you know, be that small and just being like so proud of like being a double zero at 13, um, which is so sad. It, ma it makes me sad to think about myself at that age and just like how I really wouldn't have loved my body if I wasn't a double zero. How sad is that? Anyway, I'm going to line my lips with the NYX suede uh, matte lip liner and this is the color Brunch Me. Oh, that is the perfect color. That's exactly what I wanted. When you've grown up a certain way and you've had something hammered into your brain for years and years and years, of a certain way to be, a certain way of, to look, just a certain idea of life. It takes a lot of time and a lot of work to change it. The one thing that is the most annoying thing 
that people can do is when times are changing and it's clearly changing and people are like, well, I just grew up this way. Like I'll always be this way instead of learning and growing and educating themselves. So I am very proud of myself for over the years, changing my mindset, learning more, changing who I am, what I think, how I feel about certain things. That's the most important thing. You know, making sure that you aren't sticking to your like old ways or old like mindsets if they are unhealthy towards you and towards other people. I haven't had a sharp lip liner in months and I just overline my top lip just a touch because my top lip is a little bit smaller than my bottom so I just do it to kind of like even them out. This is just a super old lipstick. It's by L'Oreal. I got this probably four or five years ago. I need to get a new lipstick, obviously. I'm gonna finish up my lipstick and try out the mascara. Yeah, the e.l.f. mascara, the length and volume mascara. And then once I have it on, I'll show you guys and let you know what I think about this. Okay, the mascara, run run to the store and buy this. I love this so much. I don't have like super long thick lashes, um, but wow. This is so easy to put on and I just feel like my lashes, you know what? Let me just do one more layer. I'm so stoked about this makeup, you guys. Like cream products all the way for me. That is what the spoolie looks like. Super easy to put on and it's really easy to put on the bottom lash as well. My lips, you guys, I accidentally overlined one side. So then I tried to even it out on the other side and it just got more and more overlined, but hopefully it's not too bad. Yeah, this makeup came out way better than I thought it would. Honestly, it's so pretty. It looks so like blended and hydrated and like beautiful. I will link, if I can find them, I'll put all the e.l.f. stuff um, or basically any of the makeup that I got in the description box below. Hopefully I can find the links. Um, but if not, like I said, I got them at Ulta and so freaking good. I love this so much. What do you guys think? But yeah, to wrap up the topic of this video, if you grew up in the same time that I did, like I said, comment below and let me know. And let me know if you relate to the things that I'm talking about. It was a tough time for girls to be growing up, especially young girls, because we didn't know any better, you know what I mean? We didn't know that things were edited. We didn't know about Photoshop. We didn't know about things being fake or like um, things being like put in the press for a specific reason. We didn't know the probably like gross men behind the headlines of calling women what they are or the effect of, or basically like the standards of beauty being set by men in a lot of cases, you know what I mean? Like they want women to look a certain way so that they do and then that's what they put on the covers as beautiful and all this stuff like just basically fueling this industry of like hating ourselves and wanting to get the diet pills and wanting to like try all these like crazy things and procedures and all this stuff to think that we're like worthy that we're beautiful and it has taken me like i said so long to realized that all of that that I grew up with was lies and bullshit and it's so nice to like be in this time of the truth coming out and more realness and more openness more transparency um it's so funny that I'm saying this as I did like a little like makeup thing of like they want us to like buy these products to look better but makeup is fun and if you do feel beautiful and better with makeup on then wear your makeup but remember that you're still beautiful and amazing without it. Hopefully all of that made sense. Normally if I do any kind of like sit down talking video and then I'm editing it later, I'm like, I feel like I missed a lot of points or I wasn't clear. Um, yeah, so hopefully I was clear. Basically, we grew up in a time where there was so much judgment and so much hate towards women and how they looked and being a certain way and i'm just really grateful to be in a time that is really changing and you know there's still those influencers photoshopping the shit out of their photos and like presenting themselves as real when they're like doing everything possible to like not be and it's really really nice to be an adult and be able to decipher what's real and what's not anyway i think i'm going to close this out here because i could really go on and on and on about this subject i feel like majority of the people who are gonna watch this video will like understand what I'm talking about, especially if you're like mid, 
late 20s, early 30s, and you grew up in the same time that I did, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And the mental toll it takes on you as a young woman, thinking that you have to be a certain way or you aren't worthy and you're not beautiful. And now in this time that we're in, it's like we've really broken that down and it's great to be moving in that direction. I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. Let me know what y'all think of the makeup below and the cream products. Hopefully this lighting is like not too bad and you were able to um, actually like see. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that you are beautiful and gorgeous and worthy and amazing just as you are, okay? Don't let anybody tell you any differently. And yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe and I'll see y'all in the next one.